Hi friends, welcome to the 10x Marketer podcast. I'm your host Girdari Saran. When it comes to a personal brand, a lot of people don't really know where to start from. What it takes to position yourself as someone people love to take inspiration from. So to answer some of your fundamental questions, I have invited Varun Anand. He has created a unique personal brand for himself in the project management industry. He is among the top 5 project management coaches in India and his company Edu HubSpot has trained 40,000 plus professionals on PMP globally. He is loved by his mentees, thousands of them have given him a 5 star rating on Trustpilot and on Edu HubSpot's business page. He is well followed and some of his YouTube videos have crossed a million views already. We want to hear from him how he built a unique personal brand and lessons we all can take from his journey without taking much time. I'm opening the stage for Varun. Varun, why don't you introduce yourself and then we'll get to the actual questions. Absolutely. Thank you, uh, Girdhari ji. Thank you for inviting me for the podcast. First of all, it's an honor for me to have a discussion uh, on this forum. So thank you so much for doing that. Uh, to introduce myself, uh, I think, uh, Gidhari, you have given such a good things about me. Uh, but, uh, you know, let me be honest up front. Uh, uh, hey, guys, I'm, I'm a very normal, simple guy. Not like what Gidhari ji mentioned about, you know, all these good things down to our personality. Uh, as as Gidhari ji mentioned, I'm the CEO and founder of Edu HubSpot. It's a multi-million dollar company. We have uh, trained 40,000 plus people all over the world. But our unique subset is about helping people, whether you are a fresh graduate or you are uh, like an already established, uh, you know, working professional and want to move or start your journey into the project management world. It's my team of mentors and myself. We help people to achieve that. So that's 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 a little bit uh, about me. Awesome, Varun, and welcome once again. So I'll get to some of the questions that uh, people might have who want to start their journey as trainers, as coaches, or and who want to see themselves as a unique personal brand online. So my first question is, uh, what are the fundamental steps? Where uh, should someone start when they want to build a strong personal uh, brand online? Sure, absolutely. So, uh, so Gidhari Ji, what I have experienced for myself is that be unique be authentic that is that is the most fundamental two aspects which i always say when i say unique what do i mean by that when i started my journey i remember uh, you know i was i used to uh, i didn't have money to even uh, you know book a conference room to teach so i used to record i mean not record i used to teach in library and I remember that library used to give like, you know, hourly or two hour spots so that you can book a room. And for those two hours, I couldn't do it from my own profile. So I had my like, you know, five or 10 friends who will all do it for, you know, two, two hours, two, two hours so that in total I get like eight hours to do the training. So I went through that journey, right? It was not easy. Initially, when you start your journey, it will always be difficult. It would be tough. You will face a lot of challenges. But remember, if you are authentic, if you are really providing value, then, you know, sky is the limit. There was a time when I was sitting on my study table in my home. I used to go to people's houses to train. And now, you know, we I have trainers who are teaching hundreds of people on a monthly basis so it's it's a big achievement in itself and i'm very proud of it but if you remember i have not forgotten my roots from where i started and i still my focus is always uh, you know on providing uh, you know authentic things so, like if you are very genuine you really don't have to use the word authentic if you're really genuine you're really helping others if that's your whole intention then absolutely you will grow uh, and and you know i am a living testament of that so yeah that's i would say unique provide value to people and secondly be authentic be yourself don't try to mimic someone else or don't try to be someone else because you will not succeed after some time you will fail so that's it that's that's all i'm going to answer this question 
Great. So when it comes to uh, a personal brand or any brand at all, there mm-hmm. is something called a USP or a unique value proposition that you may have. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. when it comes to building a personal brand narrative, uh, how do you actually identify what is your unique value proposition and how do you weave that into your uh, overall personal brand narrative? Correct. Absolutely. Okay. So um, I'll, I'll take a step back on this, Girdhari Jeep. So I'm going to talk about my dad. So uh, my dad is a retired mathematics professor back in India. And I'm based out of US. Sorry, I should have told in the beginning. So uh, coming from a middle class family, I was never a superstar student. Let me tell you that. Uh, I won't say I was a backbencher also, but I was okay. Like more of a, you know, mid category, I would put myself. Um, whole throughout my journey has been through storytelling case study, visual examples, which is basically my USP. Um, I remember, uh, you know, so my dad used to teach tuitions, you know, the neighboring students, they all used to come to our house and my father will teach mathematics. And along with them, I will also have my pen and paper and books, you know, I will also sit with them. And uh, I remember, you know, he was teaching me a concept of addition and subtraction one time. So I I was a small child and he told me, Varun, go out and pick up the stones from the road. So, you know, I went out, I picked up the stones from the road, I came back in, I kept those stones on the table. And that's when he said that, Varun, this is how you add, this is how you subtract. I don't remember my age, but I still remember that example. You know, why I still remember that example is because, you know, that was an experience. That was a story which he kind of narrated with me. And, you know, I still remember after, you know, this 30 plus odd years on that. So what I do is when I teach, I give people these stories. I explain them concepts using the storytelling approach. Like I'm teaching project management, right? Every day, every minute, every single person is a project manager. That's how I say. Now, when I teach this, you know, the type of examples I will do is, okay, I want to make chicken curry tonight for dinner. Let's say that's that's what I want to do. Chicken curry. What all things do you need? You need chicken, right? Of course, you need a knife to cut the chicken. You need onions, tomatoes. What are all these things? That's your resource management. Uh, You know, what would be the cost of this chicken and the resources which I will use? Let's say it will take me $100 or, you know, 200 rupees, whatever, right? Now, Now, what is that? That's my cost management. It will take me two hours to make that chicken curry. What is that two hours? That's my time management. So I am teaching people using this storytelling approach, which they can relate to which is, you know, their bread and butter, which they do it in day in and day out. So that's how I call my USP, uh, you know, explain people the difficult, most complex of, uh, you know, using simple day to day examples, which really helps them to understand and grasp. And this is what my students always tell me that they when they reach out to me after like five years or, you know, seven years, they will sometimes talk about that. Hey, Varun, I still remember that example, which I have forgotten that I have given, but my students still remember that, right? It sticks in their mind. So that's what it is. That's so true, Varun. Uh, Storytelling is always a very powerful medium. And uh, you have narrated a beautiful story to actually answer the question. So uh, it's really helps my audience also into remembering what it really takes to build a value proposition for yourself now another question is uh, most people who are struggling with building a personal brand they are not very clear about their objective what really matters for them why personal brand is so important for them and then they have limited resources and time that's the another struggle most people would have i'm sure many of your uh, mentees uh, would be interested in uh, being known as an authority in that industry but many of them are short on time so do you have some specific ideas or strategies or tips which uh, people can use if they have uh, both time and resource crunch that's a that's an excellent question i think uh, time and resource crunch is a secondary problem The primary problem in this situation is that we ourselves, we ourselves are, you know, in the middle of so many things that we don't give priority to what we really want to achieve. So I always tell this to people, okay, I understand you have a nine to six job. Okay, that's fair enough. Everyone has it. But in the end, 
you need to understand that how much important it is for you. What is your passion towards it? Is it really important for you? Like I'll give you an example. Let's say if I want, I have a dream of making six pack abs. Okay. But if I want to make six pack abs, what are the things I need to do? I need to go to gym regularly. I need to eat good, right? If making a six pack abs is not my priority, then I will not go to gym or I will not, you know, eat that healthy. But if that is my priority, I will put in the effort to do that, right? Maximum number of people, this is where they lack. They want to do this. They will, if I tell people that, okay, sit and write what you really want to achieve, they will write it. They are very excited. They get motivated. They will write it. But in the end, uh, you know, ask them, what are the efforts you have put into it to achieve this? So it all comes down to your commitment, your passion. If you are really passionate about something, then you know what? You will get up at six in the morning and you will work on creating that personal brand, which you actually did. Um, I don't remember who has said this saying, but it's a very simple, uh, it's a very popular saying that there is no overnight success. Facebook didn't become Facebook overnight. It took them years to reach where there is, right? Same is the case with Tesla or the other examples you take. So get up, start working on it and resources and other things will automatically start falling in. That's what I would yeah, say. Yeah, so that saying is by Jack Dorsey, uh, founder mm-hmm. of Twitter actually. Uh, okay. And uh, so you built a unique uh, proposition here. Mm-hmm. And that is very important for anyone who wants to build a personal brand or even thinking of uh, being an authority uh, online. Now, uh, there will be challenges, that's for sure. And you also might have faced a lot of challenges. So, mm-hmm. and you are so such a good storyteller. Now, uh, why don't you share some specific challenging moments that you had in your career and that really saved what you are today? So, I'll tell. Uh, okay, so so I'll, I'll again. I'm a storyteller, right? <laughs> so I I think you know I relate to stories a lot. Um, so I remember when I started my journey. Um, you know, I've always been a teacher. What do I mean by that? You know, my dad was a reti- you know he's a teacher. So my dad told me this one thing that Varun, if you really want to become better at something, you start teaching others. You will become better and better, right? That's how. You know, he taught me and I have used this principle throughout my life. So whatever I used to take any courses or things, I started teaching others. Now, when I did my project management certification, PMP, uh, I was, uh, you know, I wanted to teach that also just like the other courses which I did. But I was in my late 20s at that time. And, uh, you know, I applied for all these jobs. Uh, You know, I want to become a trainer, trainer, trainer. Nobody gave me a chance. Nobody gave me a chance. And uh, uh, one of the, I remember one of the companies, you know, they got back to me. It was a good company who actually gave me the reason why they are not selecting me as a trainer. They gave me that reason. Varun, you are too young. People will not take you seriously. And if you're teaching a course like this, then, you know, an average age at that time was around 45 to 50 years. So uh, the thought process was that, okay, if you are, if you have more age, This means that, you know, you are more experienced. You are a better teacher. That was it. But if I would have given up at that time, and this is, I'm talking about 10 plus years back, I would not have been sitting in front of you talking to you in this, uh, you know, podcast, Gidhaniji, to to be honest. I didn't give up. I I used to work as a project manager, as a PMO director, and uh, I used to come back home. I continued to apply for jobs and all and all those things. And after one fine year, almost I got my first training actual training and you were talking about challenges this was the challenge I was very excited I went there you know I provided these examples and my students loved it like nobody can come to know that that was my first course which I taught and uh, when the time of payment came in like when I started you know discussions with the organization that hey you know I'm waiting for my salary for delivering that um you know, they, they they were like, oh, Varun, we are sending the check. It's in it's in the mail. You will get it uh, soon. Then the check didn't come. Okay, I waited for some time. Then after that, I again followed up. They said, oh, Varun, we came to know that the check got lost, you know, through that mail or post. Oh, I said, okay, fair enough. No worries. We're sending a new one. And finally, when the check came, the check got bounced. 
and then i did a proper google search for the company and i came to know that that was a fraudulent company and they were doing this with everyone and i was like a victim of this fraud and um, you know that was the biggest challenge at me at that time i got very demotivated that i put in so much effort and i'm not being paid also and you know i i called my dad and i said to dad i you know i called him papa and i said papa this has happened to me i don't know what to do next i'm feeling so bad you know very demotivated and my dad told me this thing that uh, varun why are you sad i don't understand uh, i mean why are you doing this are you doing this for money is that your primary objective and you know the response i gave him that uh, uh, no papa i am not doing this for money this is my passion i love teaching right and he said that if you are not worrying about money if that is not your primary objective then why do you care about whether you got the salary or not just continue to teach for them right and that's it i did i taught five to six batches for them i didn't care about the money and i was like on somebody's else reputation i'm becoming better and better and that's like the best thing i could ever get and then i just started teaching for them uh, for five six batches after five six batches my name became so popular because the way i was teaching i was a good teacher i mean i am a good teacher so uh, that you know people started coming me on its own you know i started teaching on its own so that had an happy end happy ending here so all i would going to say is you will 101% face challenges and in fact if you face cha- if you don't face challenges you will not you know become what you are right now so start execute 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 people don't even execute because of fearing of the challenges and they will never go anywhere then as they say uh, it's the self doubt that has killed more uh, dreams than actual r- real problems in life so uh, the next question that i have is uh, you face lot of challenges you were very sure that you want to do this a uh, lot of people don't have that kind of clarity and self confidence mm-hmm. now the question is how important is the role of self confidence uh, when you want to build a strong personal brand for yourself and lot of people uh, struggle with self esteem they have self doubt how does someone overcome this hurdle and uh, really start taking this as a challenge a very a- excellent question gadari ji because i had like you know i have i have days where i have been working like 16 hours a day i have days when i'm working you know every day and then in night i'm doing a night shift like still now i do like once a week i do a night shift and when i say night shift what do i mean by that i'm working 9 to my what my regular timing is but then i will start working in 10 o'clock at night and i'll work till 6 in the morning i do that still i do that so you know sometimes you see that what am i doing in my life you know i'm just working working so i have that self doubt is it really worth it and not but then you know i ask this question again in a different way that varun is it really worth it and then i say that yes it's absolutely worth it that's why i'm you know i'm spending like 15 16 hours a day to achieve something so whenever you have a self doubt ask this question to yourself that is it worth it or not and it's more about motivation to your you know to oneself thinking from this perspective that okay this is tough this is challenging but if i wouldn't have done xyz tough and challenging things in my life i wouldn't have been here i have done right i have achieved few things that's why i'm here but if i want to achieve something i want to go there like you know right on the top of course the things will become t- uh, difficult the challenges will become difficult if i don't put in the effort i will still be here so you really need to ask this question are you happy being here if you are happy being here then don't put any other effort but if you want to achieve this then yes the journey would be difficult but then you have to put in the effort and dedication to achieve that journey true uh, but when you come uh... on internet when you start mm-hmm. expressing yourself freely on internet one of the biggest challenge you will get is the trolls correct correct right people will uh, do everything negative there will be lot of criticism there will be negative feedbacks mm-hmm. and lot of people will uh, try to bring you down whatever way possible so, correct uh, and you might have have lot of stories to share where mm-hmm. there were people who were just intentionally trying to bring you down uh, even mm-hmm. if they were not your students they were just mm-hmm. uh, using the anonymity as uh, their shield and trying to take you down so mm-hmm. um, and you dealt with the, most of them and you are still dealing with many of them mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. now if somebody is just starting up how do they deal with trolls how they uh, tackle the negative feedback should they ignore it should they take some action or what is your strategy or uh, story if you want to share sure sure absolutely it's a, it's a i have actually a, i had a personal experience on this and uh, i remember i was actually talking to you only taking feedback from you if you remember our conversation uh, what happened but um, see you will have trolls there are two types of people and i always say this to myself and you know if i'm talking to my mentees also see there are two types of one somebody will try to pull you down negative people right somebody who's jealous of what you are doing and then the second set of people are nice people who really want to uplift you right they are happy in seeing you grow so first of all before you expect others you need to ask this question where are you lying in this category are you in category 1 or category 2 first be the second category be the nice guy i can tell you for assurance don't be jealous of anyone instead if you are someone who is uplifting supporting them trust me from inner self you will be happy once you are able to achieve that okay in this journey you will have people making fun of you right still you know on my advertisements what i do i i read the comments sometimes and people make fun of me right but i still see that you know i take this as uh, like a grain of salt if you ask me like you know, how how much depressed they are in their life that they are commenting like you know abuses sometimes i will see abuses mentioned on uh, you know on a video and i say like this person is so you know feeling bad or like something personally is going on that he is just abusing someone on the internet now yes you will have people so you know when i see something like this i just completely ignore it because i don't care about those people who have that mindset and i don't want to be associated with that negative mindset people i i have made a point in my life if you are good you are with me if you are not good okay bye bye i don't want to deal with it like i i have ignored myself i have kept myself and i am so upfront person i will not say that uh, that you know i'm i'm not going to ignore you i will say on your face that i don't want you in my life so i just take a step back and i move on and uh, you know this specific example i'll tell you so reddit is one of the platform and a very popular platform so what happened on reddit and uh, you know uh, there were like it's anonymity like you know you make these pseudo names nobody know your face or you know and uh, you will start commenting about like hey this is what i did and all those things so on reddit what happened it's it's a big project management community over there and um, one of my student was part of that community and uh, you know what she was going through is like she is all when people are passing the exam you know in the project management journey they are talking about you know my competitors they are talking about xyz people and all and nobody is talking about me now my student took this to heart that you know the way varun is teaching because you know she was the one who took the courses from the people whom you know my competitor and then she took the courses from me also right so she knows the value add which i am giving as compared to others and she was very sentimental and she is like i don't know why people don't talk about you and uh, you know i don't feel uh, i don't understand i am going to talk about you know you uh, you because i know the value which you are giving i try to calm her down i first of all i told her that hey you know what i am people don't talk about me is because you know i am giving value to people but i am charging also i am my services are not cheap so not many people take my services and you are comparing it with a product which is like for 10 dollars where every tom dick and harry purchases it even they use it or not that's a secondary story but every tom dick and harry purchase a 100 rupees or a 10 dollar course because they can afford it right so they talk about it so that's the reason she said no 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 i'm not i'm going to talk so she went on reddit and she talked about you know very like you know she made me like a god on reddit like you know complete fan like i varun did this varun did that and blah 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 and then because reddit is about anonymity people started trolling me somebody came to and read that uh, hey you know varun has written this post himself somebody like kind of started abusing me and i was like and when i read those trolls i was so mad i was so you know demotivated uh, you know looking at those trolls that i don't even have time to go to reddit and do all those things do you really think i'm going to do this and um, but you know in the face of anonymity people will do it right people on your face would be something different but on the back 
they will be something different so you know i'll go back and i'll say the same thing yes you will feel sad but i took that feedback from one year i removed that feedback from the other end it is gone but sometimes you know during the trolling also some people will give you good feedback which you should actually adapt and if you don't adapt and change you will be a lost cause and you don't want to be that lost cause so i'll go back to this my same point which i started in the beginning do you want to be a good person who is uplifting others or do you want to be the bad person who is jealous of others so decide yourself and then expect the same from others if you don't expect remove those negative people out of your way and you will be a better happy person true so people will come both negative and positive so one thing uh, that really matters is uh, how do you engage with the audience how do you engage with people who are supporting you who are looking to learn from you and since you have a significant following on linkedin and your youtube videos are also very popular how do you really interact with your audience is it on daily basis that you try to connect with people or you do it on a periodic basis or your team does it what are the specific strategies there so uh, i have a team i will not deny that um so you know team team is working in all these different platforms they take care of the things but um, um i i interact with people almost on a daily basis and why i interact of course you know if thousands like if i go on my linkedin right now i would probably have 100 messages which i must i i, I don't i don't get time that's how it is but still i do my best to reply to each and every message which i get on email i get like you know i always i'm very i'm very fundamentally i'm very strong on emails i uh, if somebody has sent me an email i want to make sure that you know i review that email and i reply but because there are just so many platforms uh, you know i it's tough but my team takes care of it if somebody has given a good review or a good feedback and they want me to read it of course they forward it to me i look at it if somebody has written something bad or it's just a negative they will just ignore it they will not even you know come to me but if somebody has actually given a very constructive feedback i will look at it i will implement those changes i will see whether it is making sense or not and we take it from there so i think it all comes down to how much passionate you are and based on that your actions will speak about it i am very passionate about what i do i love what i do so i i'm kind of i would say 100 out of 100 i will reply to everyone that's me that's great uh, now uh, coming to the uh, follow up question on that mhm i understand it is very important to actually connect with your audience because uh, when you are connecting with your audience uh, it's not one way you will also mm-hmm. learn so many uh, new things about the people who you are dealing with when you really mm-hmm. interact with on a day to day basis it's not like one way messages and social mm-hmm. media is not a one way platform Correct. you get to hear from people and that's how you know what they really want to uh, do in their life mm-hmm. or how you can add value to them them in their real life so that is uh, very important and uh, looking at your uh, social media interactions i'm sure you're getting lot of value out of that uh now ai uh, is coming very strongly and there are so mm-hmm. many ai platforms and uh, people think there is a possibility of building a faceless personal brand where you don't really have to come forward and talk in front of camera maybe if you are camera shy mm-hmm. ai can do that for you what do you really think uh, ai will do uh, when it comes to somebody like you who is into the coaching industry and who is uh, relying more on the personal brand how does uh, that going to affect you uh, in future so uh, it's a it's a very good question first of all uh, you know i'm still uh, adopting ai i have not personally adopted uh, you know ai fully but i'm learning um, you know i'm working towards it uh, so that you know i am going with the market where the industry is also going now one thing which i have learned throughout my limited knowledge on ai at this point of time is that ai will not replace you there is no way ai will replace you however you will be replaced by someone who has who knows how to deal with ai this is a very important aspect now what do i mean by that there are people there are inquisitive people who want to learn ai who will jump on this opportunity 
right so uh, if you are still someone who is shy from ai or who is not adopting you know ai let me tell you right away guys uh, there would be someone out there who will embrace the agile and they will look into the uh, not the agile sorry my bad who will embrace the ai and they will work towards improving their skill sets which eventually will help them only so to answer this question i would say that you know jump on this wagon learn ai as much as you can and try to make your life better um, in the end uh, you know when machine when laptop came into picture when computers came into picture has computer replaced you no right but somebody who knows how to work on the computer has replaced you that's the same thing which will happen to ai as well so i would tell that even if it is a personal brand also people connect with you people don't connect with a computer right so use ai show them how to use ai to become a better personal brand simple uh really uh, i'm able to connect with the answer varun so fundamentally that's that's what it is somebody who knows ai will replace you it's not the ai that will replace you now uh, apart from ai what are the other trends or uh, suggestions uh, strategies that you see are becoming increasingly important for somebody's personal branding success see i i think there are 100 other strategies uh, even if i use the word 100 that is also a small number uh, you know there are thousands of strategies which you can implement uh, but one thing i have learned throughout my journey is that if you try to you know think about 100 different strategies you will never be able to achieve one also so instead of eating the entire pizza in your mouth take it slice by slice i always say this so at this point of time ai is the most important thing stop everything don't even think of another 10 15 strategies which going to work for you work only on one strategy at a time become a master of it and then jump to the second strategy true now uh, you have answered some of the uh, valuable questions that my audience might have on personal branding uh, and we are coming to, towards the end of this um, interaction mm-hmm. anything you would like to share uh, on this topic or otherwise uh, with people before we conclude this conversation varun sure absolutely uh... Uh, you're putting me on spot by putting this question <laughs> i didn't think about uh, you know i would like to share i will say this uh, thing to everyone because i have personally experienced this um it's always difficult to start you know when i say that i want that six pack abs the example which i gave <laughs> i will start from monday uh, you know that that monday never comes so if you are really serious about personal branding then let me tell you you are already late by x number of days or x number of months or years it should have been started yesterday so stop making excuses in your life set up a goal set up a plan and execute the plan don't try to eat the entire pizza eat it slice by slice so break it down into smaller manageable components which you can actually digest and take it from them do it do it small but do it impactful and always be authentic never uh, never forget your roots never try to be mimic someone else uh, because if you are genuine people will see that and they will uh, you know take steps to uh, you know work towards it is as simple as that thank you true and getting started is important somebody said it exactly. nicely if you are not willing to be a fool you can't become a master exactly exactly yeah so somebody Wait. has to start and uh, there has to be a uh, some point where you really uh, put everything into it and say that most i can't wait i have to get started with it and this is what it is when it comes to personal brand you really correct, correct. have to get started right in the same way gedari ji you started this podcast also somebody has to start you are a biggest example <laughs> yeah. you have yeah, started yeah, so it so that, it's a good that, thing right exactly i was expecting from you uh, <laughs> at the concluding remark but uh, thank you so much for your time varun it was really uh, a nice interaction and there are a lot of valuable lessons people can draw from this podcast and thank you so much for uh, listening to the podcast guys uh, we are coming up with new episodes every week so stay tuned and i'm going to uh, bring some 
valuable guests like varun in my future podcast thank you once again and uh, it you. was lovely interacting with you thank have you. a nice day at varun take care yeah bye